Hello there, beautiful soul, and welcome to the April 2021 Terran Oracle reading. I'm Infinity, your guide for this reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you like it here, that you stick around, and that you subscribe, uh, and that if you actually like this video and watch it, that you actually hit the like and, um, and leave a comment and let me know uh, how this resonated for you. Please remember that this is a general reading, but I truly feel that whenever you're guided to a reader and a reading, that there's something there for you, even if it's uh, a completely off um, read that you wouldn't normally do. If you're guided to it, uh, that's you know something that can't be denied. So I hope that you find yourself here being guided and that there's messages here for you. If you don't know who I am, real quick, I am a shaman, a mystic, a natural energy healer, a psychic physical empath, ascension guide, and coach. And I offer a lot of services on my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. There's ebooks, um, self healing meditations. And uh, I really hope that you go and you take a look and see if there's anything there for you. I'm sure there is. And again, there is a lot of free stuff too. So there's a podcast, all tons of information and meditations. Um, I have four current ebooks on psychic attack, empaths. Uh, cutting cords, energy cords, and um, how to eliminate negative energy and to how to identify psychic attacks. So if any of that is hitting any buttons there for you, please go ahead and check out my website. Like I said, they're all free and um, for you. Okay, so let's get into it, Aries. We're going to start actually with the Moonology cards. I like starting with these cards for some reason um, in readings, it's our Moonology cards. And uh, I want to just let you know that uh, coming up soon, I will have a two camera uh, look at these at these reads. So I actually have a camera right here. Look at, I'll show you. Oh, look at that. I have a camera right here. It points directly at the table. If you take a look at my full moon readings, you'll see kind of what the setup is there. The idea is, however, to uh, to have a dual, a split screen. So you can see me talking to you and you can also get a good view of the cards. I love cards. I love looking. I'm an artist as well. I'm actually making my making and designing my own tarot and or oracle cards, I should say. I haven't gotten to tarot, but I'm working on oracle. So I'm very much into artwork and seeing the card and picking up on the energy. And I know a lot of you are too. So some readers just show cards. Some readers mostly show themselves pick, showing cards. I want to do both. And so I have this coming up and... Um, it's just I have to upgrade my system so it can handle all of the, the data being thrown at it. And that is in the works. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this. Um, with the first card of your read, Aries, and it says, A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. So there is our first card. A time to give rather than take. We're going to jump right into the tarot. <sighs> I'm feeling like it's just maybe a need for some balance here. Um, but that, ooh, there's our first card. The lovers. Interesting. Interesting first card um, after that. Let's see what else we got here. The Nine of Cups, it's coming out in reverse. I'm going to check in, see if it stays that way. The Seven of Swords in reverse as well. We'll check in and see if it stays that way. Justice, right side up. Knight of Cups, right side up, and the star, right side up. Okay, we have six cards. I'm hearing we're going to stop there. So let me see about this Nine of Cups. 
We're going right side up there. And we're going right side up. Okay, we're going right side up for everything. After this, a time to give rather than take. So I'm going to set that aside. We'll get into this read here with levers being our first card. Intense with the levers energy. The nine of cups. I squint because I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> In case you're like, why is she always squinting? That's why. <laughs> Seven of Swords. Justice. The Knight of Cups. And the Star. Okay. So. What I'm feeling here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm feeling like my feet are hot and need to take off my slipper socks. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a lot of energy. <laughs> Lovers are here and I got to take off my clothes. <laughs> I seriously started feeling really hot all of a sudden. Woo. Um, no joke. No joke. I swear. No joke. Okay. So. Okay, so for some of you, some of you, you singles out there, I feel like, well, first off, I'm going to say this, and this is something that came to me last night. Uh, I'm recording this on the 31st. I am going to be recording some of these reads on actually the first. Um, it's just the way that it's turned out. But yesterday and last night was very interesting energy. I, and I'm actually gonna, gonna do a separate video about, about this. Um, but just real quick, I will say that the, the message that I got last night when I tapped in before going to sleep and getting into astral about this month and this time was that we're gonna have worlds colliding, worlds colliding. And it showed me like literally seeing like my home and then like a superimposed like other world like come in on top of it. Like everything is getting adjusted and readjusted and um, and it has been. So that's not news, but that's and it kept on repeating worlds collide, wor worlds collide. And I did mean to bring that up before we even got any cards, but I'm being reminded here because I'm seeing this kind of thing play out here um, with starting with this lover's card. Um, I feel like this is worlds collide. So like I said, uh, for you Aries singles, I feel like something's coming in. Um, And it could very well be a romantic situation here. We have the Knight of Cups showing up as well. Um, but I'm feeling like with this seven or sorry, this nine of cups coming in after the lovers here in particular, it's like. I'm hearing throw caution to the wind trust in what's coming um who's coming and let's let go let's let go of any baggage from the past even if and i feel like mostly this this somebody new is really going to be somebody new um, it could even be a, not a somebody, but a, a group of, a, 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 like a couple of people that come in that you meet. Like this, these are the people that you meet. Or you meet, you meet a set of friends that are very, very tight. Like that sort of thing. And normally, or in the past, you may have been like, I'm just going to take this slow. Um, we're not going to, I'm not going to move too fast in in connecting or spending time with people but honestly 
I'm feeling like this, that's not the way to go here. <laughs> that what we need to do in this situation is to throw caution to the wind again, let go and release any preconceived notions about, about any, it's just like, let go of how things are normally done or how you would normally do things is kind of what I'm hearing. Um, this seven of swords coming in right after that nine of cups. Um, it's like, this is it's some, it's, there's a lot of light here. There's sunlight, there's moonlight. Like, let's see this. We've got all this sunlight. And then here we have all this moonlight with this nine of swords. And it's like, you're going to be illuminated through the dark, through the nighttime, through the daytime. Um, we have the star. Let's not forget. We have the star. Next, we have judgment. So we have this balancing thing coming out. Um, and I'm really feeling that again, I'm hearing worlds collide. And so this balancing, oh, and just so you know, if you're new to me, I get really itchy in the head when I start to pick up and connect. I also will tend to yawn. That's been known to happen. Um, <laughs> so just so you know, I'm not bored, tired, or got some weird bugs. It's literally <laughs> energy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so with this justice card, it's like, I'm f and it's right below the lovers. So we have justice coming in below the lovers, which really makes me happy, really gets me excited because it's like situations with people, relationships, um, that sort of thing has been a ch I'm feeling this has been a challenge especially when we're thinking about um sorry I'm missing something here oh well I'll get it I'll get it later um especially when it comes to the opposite the opposite sex or the same sex your love situation um I'm feeling like when it's come to the divine masculine in the in the situation, now we're just speaking to love situations here. When it's come to the divine masculine, he's not been on your level. He's not been ready. He's been literally, I'm coming back here. He's been kind of elsewhere kind of seeking running in search of and not like okay it's you and me let's do this together it's been like you're here but i'm doing this um so i feel a balancing coming in with that uh aries and lastly the star card i love this star card is so beautiful it it just shows me that um this is a situation, um, a soulmated situation written in the stars, kismet kind of thing. Um, either, well, either way, if it's, if it's romantic or not, um, I feel this way. I feel that the people or person coming in are, uh, it's like, it's time, like the, the, that again the worlds collide again with, like the buttons being pushed like initiate 10 9 8 like that kind of thing so there is that for now i'm gonna set this aside drink a little water and wonder where my butterfly ring is <laughs> i have this big beautiful butterfly ring that i like to wear hmm. i know how to drink I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, moving on. I just had it. <laughs> oh, I washed my hands. That's what I did. <laughs> I'm like, what? We're going to get into next the Sacred Geometry Oracle. 
This is a really cool deck. Um, incorporates a lot of different things in and with it. So let's get a little deeper here with this. There's our card. Unlimited potential. Look at that. Unlimited potential. Very cool. This is card number 10. Consciously creating reality. I love this. Consciously creating reality. Card number 10. Oops. Almost right to it. Okay. I need a little bit of light here. I'm going to turn down the music a little bit. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. I'm like, hopefully I'm not blowing you out here with the light. Um, consciously creating reality. I am able to reach my unlimited potential by releasing old unwanted energies and allowing for new energies to enter my life that will benefit me on every level of my being. This card is telling you to assess which part of your life feels stuck and needs clearing. Unlimited potential can help you see that you need to move away from issues that are making you stagnant. Life is about change and you need to clear a path to allow for new energies to come in. The unlimited potential template is here to show us that life gives us choices. From a young age, we acquire programs and behaviors through watching others and learning from those closest to us. Not all of us had the choice to be raised in an ideal world with ideal rules, logic, and behaviors. For some, through habit, it, became, it becomes a struggle to do things differently. Choices knowing that habits are made to be broken, to see that life is short, and to live in a way we know to be right. It takes time, practice, and a total acceptance that mistakes are allowed, as it is through our abilities to fail and make mistakes that we learn. Hear, hear. <laughs> Definitely. Um... Okay, so this gets into the um, dynamics of the sacred geometry. The truncated ico icosahedron, as used in this card, is one of 13 Archimedean solids. It has 20 regular hexagonal faces and 12 regular pentagonal faces. When a shape is truncated, it ultimately means you are cutting off its corners, edges, or faces, and they all need to be cut in the same way. The truncate the truncated icosahedron is the shape of a soccer ball and also is the shape of Buckminster Buddy Fuller's geodesic desic dome. Bucky used sacred geometry, geometry in creating his life's work as he knew that by using certain structures as seen in our universe, he could create a strong and sturdy architectural design. This geometry is the closest thing to the mapping of our DNA, which is both pent and hex in nature. DNA or uh, deoxytrombone, uh, bond. Oh, I, I can't. I, it's some word. I can't. <laughs> Acid is found within every nucleus of the body. Yeah, I'm not. It is the molecule that carries most of our genetic blueprint, instructions used for functioning and development within our lifetimes. It is the backbone of our genetic coding. DNA forms as a double helix. There are two pairs of base molecules working as a rung system holding the DNA together. Okay. Practical applications. Rise above any programmed limitations. By making conscious choices, we can reweave our DNA patterning to live an existence of health, abundance, and prosperity on all levels. Perception and intention is so important as this helps form our belief system. We can go through life as a pessimist, seeing life as too hard, or we can create optimism, knowing that life has its challenges, but that when... We see the positives in what we are doing and want to achieve. There is light at the end of the tunnel and great satisfaction. 
We are here to consciously create the lives we want to live. We don't always have the means or choice to reside where we would like, but we can make the best of what we have around us by creating harmonious living and work conditions to uh, taking care of our bodies by exercising, meditating, eating right, and avoiding harmful chemicals to creating a beautiful and positive belief system to make us feel energized and truly alive. Remember, <coughs> remember thoughts, <coughs> thoughts are energy fields. What we put out is what we get back magnified. We are the masters of our thoughts and our perception, and it is a choice we have to create the unlimited potentials within our lives. If you believe you can, then you will. If you believe you can't, then you are right and you won't. Card numerology is three crystal suggestions, shugnite, platonic solid, turquoise diamond, and mashalite. Um, animal medicine, the condor essences, condor, and wolf medicine essence, starlight essence. Okay, so I don't want these readings to be an hour long, so I'm not going to read I, I read all of that because I was guided to, but I'm not going to get into the deeper stuff there. But I will say... So look up for yourself um, working with condor and wolf medicine essence, starlight essence, um, and these crystals as well. I would um, Shugnite and Herkimer Diamond definitely and any of the platonic solids I would look into getting. I'm going to get a set of those myself. Okay, so unlimited potential and basically I'm hearing get out of your way. Don't let the past dictate the future is what I was hearing as I was reading that. Don't let any past experiences with love and relationships put a stain or put any kind of toxicity into the future. Because what's coming, this is basically saying what we need to do is make way for this, this new worlds colliding people coming in kind of stuff and and to do that we need to release old patterns and understand the way that our bodies are how our thoughts dictate the energy around us what goes out comes back what is in our system so when this person or people come into your life please notice what comes up for you What's triggering for you? What needs to be released? Also, please be aware we're starting um, this month here on the 4th, 4-4 with our 4-4 Stargate through the 14th with our one day of our landing day. So it's a total of 11 days. So I want you to think about um, most likely the this, this arrival is going to happen within this time period is probably it's not I'm not saying for a definite but you'll probably meet somebody or or people will come around again that you haven't seen or heard from in a while um give them the space give give this give this the opportunity to come in um but mostly this is talking about changing your your actual energy field and being conscious of what you think, what you feel being projected into the world and what you get back. So if you start feeling happy and hopeful and joyful and blissful that you've made these connections and what will happen, then that's going to be the energy that this is getting marinated in. If you come up with fear and anxiety and sadness because it makes you think of things that didn't work out or maybe this won't work out or or it won't last, you know, stuff like that, then that's going to be the energy that this marinates in. So it's really up to you to set your uh, your timelines how this is going to go because this is going to come and it has g really great potential it's balanced it's it's happy and loving and um it's what you've been hoping for with people now again this could be romantic this could be um friendships um soul soul-based type friendships 
But I I do feel that it's probably going to be kind of 50-50. I feel like for some of you, it's going to be like the romantic person coming in. For some of you, it's going to be the friendship person coming in. Yeah. So one or the other is happening. And it has, it is, um, it is something that's been in the works energetically that we're catching up to now in the physical. And because we're never done evolving and healing layers, we have so many layers to get through. So much we're attached to from our our past lives it's going to filter in that's going to really help us in this lifetime as we heal in this lifetime we heal those lifetimes we heal the connections there so it's really it's really important to think about um restructuring on a on a quantum level on a molecular dna energetic and energetic level um, because well this is actually a really good picture a really good p representation it feels like for this world's collide energy that I'm feeling um, so take time let's go back now to one of the uh, the ebooks that I have is the importance of cord cutting. So what I'm feeling here is there's some attachments to people or the past, some still hurts if you think about certain people or events that that you know bum you out <laughs> on whatever level that could be. That so cords need to be cut, forgiveness needs to be found for yourself and for others, love needs to be sent out um, about these situations. Um, so when the future people come in, there's that space. And like she says in the book, if you believe you can, then you will. If you know that you won't, you can't, then you won't. It's very, very simple. And so it's up to you to change the programming. So you will hear, the, and, and that's not to say that like everybody coming in is going to be supposed to be in your life. That's not, that's not what I'm saying either. You have to be discerning when it comes to new people coming in your life. But it is saying throw caution to the wind, like let go of the past baggage and just, and, and let it and let it fly because abundance is on the horizon in this in a very emotional sense. We have the lovers. Um, we have the knight of cups and the nine of cups. We have justice. So we have a lot and a lot of light coming in. So there's that. Let's move on. Two, <clears throat> excuse me, two, I have pieces of Kim Cran's uh, archetype deck here. I have the self and I have the tools. So these are the sections I was guided to pull out. This is a pretty new deck to me as is actually all of these decks to be honest they're they're fairly new to me um i've had this tarot deck for a couple months i really love it super easy for me to read um this sacred geometry deck i've only had for a couple weeks and i'm just getting into it but i absolutely love it it's super on point very powerful and then same thing with this um with this archetype deck it's partitioned into four sections the selves the um the places the tools and the initiations just the different um phases and themes that we go through through our evolution so let me take a second here and pick out a self card and no matter who you are this is going to um, there's a message here for you with this self card I'm hearing. So it's, it's like, even though this is a general read, there we go. Cause I was actually going to do a full, a full spread with all the archetype cards, but, um, 
And I thought, how is that going to work for a general? And it kind of ended there. But, um, but just know that this is definitely, there's something in this message for you. And this card coming up for the self is the hunter. So card number nine, is it nine or 11? Card number nine, the hunter is the self card. We're going to, whoa, right, right to it. I love it when that happens. Um, it happens quite frequently, actually. I'll pick, pull a card and almost get right to it. And then there's times I'm searching for like 20 minutes. Never know. The hunter, the seeker, the pursuer, the predator. The hunter hunts. They are on a precise miss, miss, mission. Wow, my mouth. They are on a precise mission with an aim. To return home empty-handed would be to fail, which is not an option in the hunter's eye. This archetype will journey far and wide, seeking the prize that calls to its heart or stomach. Tales of bravery and feasts of strength often result, creating a quick, decisive, and results-oriented um, sorry, the hunter is skillful, quick, decisive, and goals-oriented. Like the great hunting goddess Artemis who carries her quiver upon her back, the hunter typically has a weapon of choice. When this card appears, it is critical that you ask three questions. What am I hunting? Why am I hunting it? Is the weapon I hold so tightly in my grip truly needed for the task at hand and when light focused energized respectful seasoned when dark irresponsible violates violent and preaching when you activate the hunter archetype you are aligning your energy with the great creatures of the world the lion the wolf the tiger the shark so do so with care um, and study the greek goddess goddess artemis notice her nuanced relationship to the moon the earth and the feminine the predator honors its prey with a precise and skillful hunt the hunter deeply reveres the life it aims to take okay aries how does this make you feel with the hunter um let me tell you that when i read this when it comes to this, it's about knowing what to go after, knowing what to put your energy into and doing that with precision. Um, and it feels like... <laughs> feels like yeah i've been hunting for a person like I, I i've i feel like there's this energy like yes i've been on the pursuit to find people for myself to align myself but at the same time i feel that there's been a good amount of understanding that it needs to be a specific type of person one of the the memes that i put out recently was empaths need empaths and and so it's kind of like, and, and I'm being reminded of that right now because it's like, think about, think about how important it is when you're an empath to be, a t to, to, when you know fellow empaths as opposed to people who are not and how differently they, they are. I'm not saying that empaths are better. I'm just saying that they're different. Empaths are very different. Light workers are very different. And my readings, everything I do is typically people coming coming around these parts are those who um, consider themselves or are empaths and don't know it for that. And if you're like, empaths, what is that? Or I've heard of that. If you don't know, or even if you do, check out my ebook, The Essential Empath Guide. Um, because there's a lot of really good information there that will help, especially with knowing yourself and relationships. And there is a, a, a quiz. Okay, so um, this is also tying in, I'm feeling, with this unlimited potential card. In the sense that... Um, like this like this horse that has feels very 
um, that she's showing us here, but she's saying how when you're um, when you're tapped in with this, you're also tapping in with the great predators, the great hunters of the animal kingdom. Um, but but it's feeling kind of more to me like this is about. Like not stopping for things that are that are unimportant. Like focus. Focus on you. Focus on on your energy, on meditation, on improving your diet, on getting more connected with nature, that sort of thing, on clearing the energy from your body um another one of my meditations that's on youtube on my podcast is eliminating fear shame doubt guilt all that well guilt really wasn't in there but fear fear shame uh, judgment things like that relating to love money unworthiness and all of that so that meditation's coming up um, and it's just about releasement, releasement of a lot of energies. Okay, this next card is the tool. Um, and interesting, venom comes up. So we have the hunter and venom. <laughs> interesting. I don't know what I, I've not seen this card yet. Like I said, man, I have all sorts of stuff hanging off. Of me. <laughs> um, I've not, I've not seen, oh, I thought I, I went right to it. I was going to be like, wow, that's pretty wow. Um, almost there. Definitely not going right to it this time. Oh no. Where is this freaking card? There it is. Okay. The venom. The poison, the curse, the toxin. Much to our dismay, the venom is always lurking in the shadows in one form or another. Its toxic presence may be found in our relationships, thoughts, speech, or environment. Thankfully, the cycle of purification and detoxification comes so naturally that it is built into our very our, our every exhale we breathe out carbon dioxide and the plants return it to us as oxygen archetypal venom is rarely remedied as easily however and it can come in potent forms and quantities that are deeply damaging to us and the world when the venom card appears there is a harmful substance in our psychic realm that must be identified perhaps your words have a sting of poison about them perhaps a relationship is slowly draining your reserves acknowledgement is the first step change is the second very true the remedy will reveal itself in time and with it forgiveness so when light self-realization through suffering when dark unwillingness to find a solution or to forgive when you harm another, you harm yourself. Keep it in mind, this goes for our earth as well with cosmic consequences. The spreading of the venom is like a chain reaction. When we strike others, it is likely we have ourselves been struck. Break the cycle. So we have another card here that's talking about detoxifying and changing your mindset and not letting... Um, the past dictate your future with the Venom card. So it feels to me like big time here, like on your quest and with what's coming here, be careful not to let this, this energy, it could be a person that you have in your life that really that like anybody that comes around, they're going to um psychically attack or 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 want you away from them or talk down about them so this is also coming i don't think that's from you so it could be somebody in somebody around you even so please identify if there is and it can be a painful realization like it could be somebody super close to you it could be your best friend it could be your mother it could be um a, a, a mentor type person that underneath their love and care and wants for you to be happy 
like they're just like no you with anybody and and being close is just not good enough so i feel a little bit of that energy coming in here with with this so to be careful of people influencing your energy about other people um is one thing that i'm picking up here and then the other thing is your own experiences your own energies um, from the past and this has been kind of the theme here from the beginning and let's not forget our first card is a time to give rather than take so I'm kind of feeling like let's just let's just and what I feel with this now I feel it feels like it makes more sense like give to yourself give to your own energy from your own psychic vision from your own intuition from your own connections with your guides it, rather than taking from <clears throat> excuse me than taking from other people what they think about the situation because you may be somebody who is like what do you think what do you think what do you think how do you what do you think about it what do you think about it like this is happening what do you think about it and it's like maybe not maybe don't go there don't don't like people can have their opinions but you need to you need to figure this out for yourself you need to detox from the past so again you know this coming up um unlimited potential let's not forget unlimited potential so this energy coming in for april for you aries with this person or people either new or from the past now again we're starting off fresh with fresh timelines. Yes, people have their histories and their experiences together and all of that. But we can move past those things and into the future. So I do feel like like for some of you, this will be a reconnection with people or person or person you already know. It will this will also could be new people or person and that current people in your life or even the echo of a person from your past like it could be that somebody's crossed over but the way that they were in your life the way that they influenced you and how you thought about people or what you were like oh that's a red flag that's a red flag or whatever those things are that th those are programs that we need to release and let go of okay and the very last thing we're gonna do here beautiful aries is hidden worlds oracle so let's get one of these to round it out hidden worlds oracle um giving us some insight here on the situation for you for april here we go light dancer <laughs> light dancer illumination the radiant self shining soul oh that's so pretty oh i love this okay card number 24 light dancer okay each of us is designed to find within us the light we see outside of ourselves and with our five senses we cannot see all that is no we definitely cannot we cannot take in all that is truly within this world the universe uh, but through reaching for the light that lies within us all you have sought to become a more loving person you have searched for the oneness and lost the sense of division for moments there have been pure bliss and when it has departed you have been sad as though you have failed as a human being you cannot perceive all that is all the time but in those moments when the bliss and the peace of the truth of our connection uh, the acceptance of our transitory journey within and through our bodies the alignment with values that respect and love the earth where we find is where we find union with others like ourselves we find ourselves dancing with the light life has an ease and flow to it and we feel we could reach out a hand and touch the stars 
This moment has come to you, even if you have forgotten its power, and it is here to remind you again of the beauty of the heart and soul, of the relationship you have to the infinite, which lies within you and without you. The light dancer tenderly touches what she can see in the hidden spaces of the universe and within your heart. When she comes to you, it is to remind you that you too are a light dancer, a being of the infinite universe, and you are as graceful as aware and as tender as she is. And the illumination mantra here on page 83, I am evolving into an enlightened being, dancing with the light that dwells within me. Oh, this is so wonderful. And as I read that, I was reminded how we got the star card. We have, again, I was mentioning so much light here. And here we have the light dancer to point out all the light. So it's like, let's let's leave the past behind. Let's pay attention to the future. Um, let's recognize that as we reach for the light to come in and the light in our lives, we release the toxins. So this is this whole reading has been about letting love in letting light in because it's coming so to make room for it dear beautiful aries is what's on your agenda um see where there are those venom spots see yourself as the hunter and putting energy into being precise about yourself and what you're and what you have around you and within you and going after a future that has unlimited potential there's no question about it it's there for you to take you just have to make the room it's like i see kind of a cluttered garage and somebody is moving in and it's like oh shit i gotta make room for this person to come in with their stuff so we have to clean up here so that's what it's showing it's like you're almost ready you're almost ready and this person or the energy of this person I know I said earlier that we have the Stargate coming in and that this is probably going to happen or something is going to happen during this time period. Um, it, that could also be that it's just your your shift in energy of preparation is really what's coming in at this time to prepare for this person to come in in the future but or people to come in in the future but they're definitely coming um definitely coming we've got again the lovers the star card um the hunter which really tells me like you're gonna catch your your prize you're you're not gonna the, that whole like you know the option to come home empty-handed is you know not so your home is with this it's just um it's just allowing for the energy to um come in and make room for it Okay, Aries, that's it. I want to thank you so much for being here. Happy April 2021. I really feel it's going to be beautiful and lovely, but not without work, not without effort, not without putting in energy for the future, but you've got this. I know you do. And please don't forget, check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org for further guidance. And if you want to work with me directly, all of the information is there to do so. Have a beautiful April. Bye for now.